Libra, hi. So this is going to be a reading for October 10th through the 16th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Libra, what's going on? The overall energy for the reading, the Two of Pentacles, it's kind of like you're at a crossroad where you don't know exactly. And I don't know, I don't know if you don't know which direction to go. I feel like you're, um, you're kind of in the middle of directions changing, you know, um, in terms of energy. Because I see a change here. So it could be translated into what now? What the hell do I do? Or, you know. Like, well, what's coming next? A little bit of confusion there, but eh, it's more, again, I don't see it more as you not knowing what to do about it. It's more like going through the change, going through the motion. In the recent past, the star, the six of wands, the knight of swords. All right. Um, it's one of those energies of clarity. You see something, you go get it, or at least you try, you know, like, this is what I want. This is what I'm heading towards. Bam. You know, there's no confusion by the looks of it. There's definitely, at least energetically, there's clarity here in terms of your direction. Um, in the current situation, the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Cups, the Lover, something's changing here. Again, I see a little bit of a change. It is tied up to a particular connection that's quite important to you. And um, somehow bringing that connection back together or there's there's something changing or even getting stronger here tied up to this connection i don't know we'll see when we clarify in the immediate future the knight of cups the justice the ace of wands what are you doing what are you doing um i see love here surrounding you and i see all sorts of good energies coming towards you um I don't know. I see you in the middle there and then there's a swirl of energies, good energies around you that um, that have love in them, that have passion, that have good stuff. So let's clarify. Let me clarify the two of pentacles. Six of Swords, Page of Wands, the High Priestess. Yeah, that's that's kind of the deal. Even though there's something shifting, something changing in the energies that are surrounding you, again, you don't look to me as if you're confused, as if you're, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And also, I see your intuition coming through and you kind of following that. So based on that, there's absolutely no reason to be like, I don't know. And you are looking like you're walking away from the energies of, you know, um, of I'm not sure, or I don't know, or if that's how this shift in energies is translated for you as an I don't know, um, you're stepping out of that. Um, the more you step into tuning into your intuition, the more you step out of the energies of... So, let me see the star in the recent past. Uh, Felix, you're gonna fall off the table. Which I don't think you care, because you know, you're a cat. You're gonna land quite well on there. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. For the star, you get the Ace of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles. This is beautiful energy. It's kind of like a restart for you. It's kind of like starting over from scratch almost. Like finding yourself and going from there. There's definitely an energy of moving on here. And that's where the clarity stands in, okay, I'm here. Let's go. Where? I don't know and I don't care, but I'm here and we'll go with this, you know, kind of a thing. Um, and there's a whole lot of self-care involved, you know, putting yourself first. So whatever it is that you stepped into, 
that's the idea that you stepped into that with, you know, putting yourself first. So it felt good. Um, but moving on from something here. Let's do boom, 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 Knight of Swords. This is your hair. Knight of Swords in the recent past. Page of Pentacles, Six of Cups, the Strength card. Okay, okay. So as you're moving on, you know, stepping into this energy of, you know, it's more about me this time around, and it's going to be different, and it's feeling different, it's feeling good. I see you running across a soul connection here, which I don't know if it's romantic, if it's, I don't know what it is. It could be just about anything here. Because uh, I do see you giving to this situation uh but not much like you know i just met them or whatever the case there's definitely a sense of a good energy kind of crossing paths with you there i don't know where this went and what happened with it but it's definitely essential for this reading let's do the wheel of fortune for the current situation. Oy, the Justice card, the Devil, the Two of Pentacles. So you do have this tendency. There's something shifting in energies. That's the bottom line of this change that you're experiencing. And as that happens, I see you having the tendency to step into your mind, you know, the place of the unknown, and be like, what the hell do I do with this? What's happening? What's changing? What? Where? When? How? If? Uh, you know, so there's that tendency there. And you show that to me as the reading started. Um, it is a pattern and it's an unhealthy one. And you know that you're aware of it. You're showing it to me here. You know, kind of like, yeah, I do that. You know, uh, okay, you do that. But does it feel good? No, then stop doing it. <laughs> you know, um, it's just, that's it. There's nothing to be, you know, uh, wondering about questioning here. There's a change in energies. There's a shift there. For what seems to be like something that looks quite okay, something that, again, crosses your path and it looks okay, this looks good, this looks like it's matching me, it, there could be something growing here. There could be something happening, um, you know, in terms of how you feel about it, in terms of how you see it, I don't know. And that could cause a little bit of, oh my God, but no reason to. It's normal energies do change with that perceptions change feelings change let's do the three of cups in the current situation yeah it's like a shocker like what the hell is going on uh, for the three of cups you get the knight of cups the tower the hierophant i feel like emotions are amplifying here and that's a little bit scary, a little bit shocking by the looks of it. Like, oh, well, you know, I just took this as a random whatever. And now it's like, I'm feeling something for it. Really? Really? By the looks of it. So it's one of those things where it's more than meets the eye. I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's more to it than what you thought this was. You know, I see depth here, I see love, I see a little bit of surprise, surprise. I didn't know I felt that, you know, kind of a thing. Let's do the lovers in the current situation. Ace of Wands, Six of Wands, Ten of Swords. Okay, and as the stake grows higher, so does the fear. Fear is starting to creep in here to be like, okay, you feel something? Good. You feel something big? Good. Now it's my time to step in. Um, that's what fear does. But I do know you're prepared with that because I know you've been healing forever. And it's like, okay, you got this. So what if it steps in? It's always going to step in. Especially when stakes go higher and higher. It's going to try to step in. So fear of losing this, fear of failing at this is showing up. 
um, where I see you wanting to take action towards this and it's coming from a place of I feel like I really want to do this and then that's kind of taken down by the fear that's you know fear is showing up and it's telling you are you sure you want to do this and depending on your relationship with fear you know you're either gonna do that or not let's do the knight of cups in the immediate future wheel of fortune the chariot the ten of wands There's something that's backing you down here, and it's not necessarily that fear. I feel like in the bigger pic picture of things it is, but um, there's something else. There's something else that makes it very, very hard for you to align with how you feel. Um, it's almost like, well, I don't want to. The shock of it, the surprise of it, the, I didn't expect that to happen. Okay, but it did. Something's backing you down because something is looking, everything's looking fine. And then there's a flip there that says, but it's so hard. And I'm like, this could only be hard if you're not aligning with how you feel and you're not pursuing how you feel um, and you're not embracing how you feel. Hmm. let's do the justice card this could also be the other energy you're dealing with so who knows the ten of pentacles the moon the star okay so you want long term here that's what you're showing me okay so the fear might come in and tell you hey libra this could be you know Maybe it lasts for 10 to 20 minutes, but that's it. You want long term? This is not it. Um, I don't know. Fear Fear basically is you telling yourself that, you know? It has your voice. It uses your voice and your mind to get to you. Um, but it's your because it's your own fear, you know? Um, but you are showing me a sense of overall, I kind of want something that sticks something that will be here for the long run so then in contrast you're kind of showing me you don't trust that this would stick around you know it's kind of like oh it's feeling so good it's feeling so um i don't know if it'll stay and again that's me talking to your fear not to you necessarily you know and the more you talk to your own fear the more you're going to walk away from this it's going to keep you away from feeling truly what you feel from aligning with how you feel um Okay, let's do the Ace of Wands in the immediate future. The Fool, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Swords. It's, again, the same concept. If you give in to your own fear about it, you're just gonna... Um, it's not that you're gonna wanna drop it, or but it's gonna make things difficult for you because you're gonna start disconnecting from how you actually feel about the situation. Your mind is gonna tell you what to feel about it. You know, and that makes it quite difficult. So the minute the mind takes over and the minute the mind has the power over this situation that belongs to the heart, just so you know, that's when the fear has taken over completely. Because fear is, you know, collaborating nonstop with the mind, not with the heart. The heart doesn't know that. The heart knows one thing, to love, that's it. You know, fear, insecurities, doubt, suspicion it's it, it all belongs to the mind um let's see what the universe has as a final some final words for you five of cups nine of wands the high priestess yeah and also being stuck in the past a little bit because again you know 
tactics of the fear. Let's keep you in the past. Remember when that happened and that happened and that happened. Do you want that to happen again? No. Well, then stay there in the past and remember what happened and apply it to the present. It's kind of like telling you bring the past to the present so that you're not actually experiencing the present because you're experiencing it through the lens of the past. You know, and I know, you know, a lot of people are going, well, I learned from the past. You learned, but it's in the past. Don't bring it here. Nothing to do with what's going on here. You know, good. You learned. Great. Learning doesn't mean blocking dealing with the present, which a lot of people do because they learned from the past. So, I don't know. I see you kind of falling more and more onto that, um, into that fear of yours. So, it's... Energies can change. You can actually change these energies as long as you acknowledge it and, you know, work with this fear. It's not here to to mess everything up if you don't let it. You can actually work with it, heal from it, learn from it. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.